Ooh, dude. I believe him. Michael Chandler will steal the show at UFC 309. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that's an overreaction. As you mentioned, the John Jones fight versus Stipe Miocic could be actually kind of boring with neither guy wanting to commit too much given that it is heavyweight and anything can happen. And John Jones, it looks like right now, at least giving some of his life decisions and the fact that perhaps in, in the last year or so, he hasn't gotten into much trouble. It seems he's being very careful with how he places things. Yeah, that's completely the opposite uh, approach of Michael Chandler. Like a title could be on the line. I mean, there, there was a title on the line when he fought Charles Oliveira, as you mentioned, and he's still going to throw the kitchen sink. He's still going to be uh, a bit careless just for excitement's sake. So uh, that's very much appreciated from, from Chandler. We know that Charles Oliveira is kind of cut from the same cloth, a little bit more technical. Um, this could very well be fight of the night, and be. don't be surprised if it's fight of the year. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm right there with you, man. And when I say Michael Chandler stealing the show, I think you just touched on it. Win or lose, I think he could steal the mm -hmm. show. That's the thing. I'm not necessarily saying he's going to steal the show by beating Charles Oliveira. I mean, that very well could happen. It was, you know, the last fight, that first round went Michael yeah. Chandler's way, and then he got caught in the second round. Um, but win or lose, he made it very clear when he joined the UFC that he's not here for a long time. He's here for a good time. And I think Saturday night is going to be a hell of a good time, especially with the long layoff. You know how hungry he's going to be. So what do you think? Do you think, do you think it's going to go his way or you think it's going to go Oliveira's way? Is it I'm stealing the show with the win or stealing the show because he really just puts himself out there and maybe it's Oliveira who, who is the beneficiary of, of his uh, sort of, you know, attack, crazy attack. Yeah. I mean, this can go either way with the power that Chandler has and, and how much, um, how aggressive his style is. Like you can't rule him out out of any fight whatsoever, but who is the more technical fighter? I do think Charles Oliveira is. And oh. I think when it comes to predicting fights, um, sometimes you side with the bigger guy, with the guy that's a little bit more prepared, or maybe if, if the guy didn't take a short notice fighter or whatever. But usually, usually technique wins fights. Technique is 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 the the king in this sport. So I think Charles Oliveira does have the upper hand. I expect him to win, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if Charles if uh, Michael Chandler is able to pick up a victory. I will say this: on top of me thinking that Oliveira is a better fighter. I do wonder about those two years, man. Two years sitting on the sidelines waiting on McGregor. Right. He's what now? 37, 38 Seven. years of age? Seven. Jesus. Uh, that at lightweight is not good. And I know he takes care of his body and is always training. And uh, that certainly has kept him. Uh, his, his extended his shelf life. But uh, will it be enough to, to defeat a, a Charles Oliveira? I, I don't think so. I think this is going to be a more dominant fight uh, from Charles Oliveira's perspective than the first one. Yeah, and it's not that Michael Chandler isn't a technical fighter. He He's probably just as technical of a fighter as Charles Oliveira when he wants to be. And he's yeah. made it pretty clear since he joined the UFC, he has no interest in, you know, using his wrestling uh, and being technical. I mean, he's just an action fighter at this point. So, you know, still the show, win or lose, that's happening at UFC 309. We agree. Yes, uh, we agree on that one. MMA junkie AI. <laughs>